everyone, and welcome to the Literacy Talk Show, Fish Fry Fountain Pen. Today, we are talking with researchers Irene Fountas and Gabe Pinnell, as well as Douglas Fisher and Nancy Fry, to learn more about their research on guided reading. Please welcome our first guest, Irene Fountas. Hello, Lucy Fluency. I'd like to begin by saying, the key to effective teaching is your ability to make different decisions for different students at different points in time, honoring the complexity of development. Would you like to add anything, Gay Sue? Why, yes. This relates directly to the research on guided reading, as teachers can closely observe and therefore differentiate teaching for specific students in the group. In addition, teachers can regroup students based on their individual needs and strengths at a given time. What would Doug and Nancy have to say about this? Well, let's talk about how you teach guided reading. We use a variety of prompts to scaffold and engage students' thinking. For example, it is important for teachers to, pr to prompt for background knowledge, procedural knowledge, like using a checklist, mod teacher models, and reflective knowledge, which is when students think about thinking. So right, Doug. Saying you're doing the just right thing so that students do the cognitive work is a critical aspect of teaching reading and writing. Boy, all of these guests help bring guided reading to new levels, wouldn't you say? Thanks for joining us for another edition of Fish Fry Fountain Pen. On next week's episode, we interview Shippensburg University's leading reading professor, Dr. Lynn Bainham. See you then!